am After so many years Hounded by hatred And trapped by fear Peace and love, family. Welcome to the NEPPC podcast. I'm Brother Frank, and I'm with former political prisoner. Abdul Hop Islam. Today we focus uh, the next episode uh, during uh, Jazz Appreciation Month on uh, jazz musician, drummer, uh, Max Roach. Max Roach had some serious politics. He was very clear about what he stood for. Max Roach was born 1924, so he's born about... Uh, six decades after the abolishment of slavery. So we just imagine the conditions that uh, him and his people lived under and uh, what he had to think about what was going on and what would his relationship to be to his people's oppression. Uh, Max uh, Roach, uh, uh, the drummer, phenomenal drummer, uh, he used his uh, instrument as a, a weapon, a weapon to counter what was going on 
amongst his people. He was active in uh, a number of movements, uh, demonstrations. He he did his part as musicians. Uh, he spoke candidly about the civil rights movement, uh, uh, those who were uh, at the forefront of the movement at the time. And he understood that he had a role to play. He had a position. In fact, one of his quotes is, I would never again play anything that does not have social significance. We American jazz musicians of African descent have proved beyond a doubt that we are master musicians of our instruments. Now what we have to do is employ our skill to tell a dramatic story of our people and what we've been through. So that quote alone just lets you know the seriousness that he took his um, profession. So I, I think that, you know, as we recognize and appreciate jazz during this month, we got to understand it's an expression of, of uh, African culture, of culture of people of African descent, and that ties directly into the concept of self-determination. Our political uh, prisoners, uh, U.S. held political prisoners, uh, that's exactly what they were standing on. They were standing on the position that they had to be active uh, regarding uh, the the, the fight for self-determination. And uh, they did that by any means necessary. They did that uh, unapologetically. And uh, because they did that, uh, they are now currently incarcerated. So as you know, uh, if you've been tuning into our show, we focus on U.S. health political prisoners, and we always have to uh, directly connect what's going on currently with uh, political prisoners. So, um, that today's discussion will be about that. So, Brother Abdul Haq Islam. Yeah, peace and love, brothers and sisters. Uh, Max Roach, you know, among the uh, jazz artists with political consciousness, you know, uh, he stands tall in that grouping. Um, Brother Frank just read a statement um, that, he had, uh, that he had made, a quote he had made, you understand, uh, during the height of his political consciousness in his bio. Um, uh, Max, Max Rose talks about, you know, in his early beginnings, uh, beginning in the church, marching, uh, and, and then in, in the church, uh, you know, marching and, and, um, to church songs and then marching uh, in uh, civil rights uh, activities. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he said that he had the instrument, his instrument in one hand, and a sword in the other, the sword signifying uh, a survival, a fight for survival, dealing with the uh, issues of the day. Um, as he evolved, um, you know, he began to uh, make more and more political statements in his music. The uh, corporation, the music industry, was um, advising artists to get away from uh, that political type of music, that uh, message type of music, and just to uh, uh, focus on, on type of music, that just want to make people dance and sing and happy chat, you know. But certain artists, you know, rejected that, you know, and uh, became determined to get the message out there. And uh, Max Roach uh, did that. He had uh, several cuts, you understand, know, uh, where he. Uh, Gave strong political messages. One album was Freedom Suite by Max, Max Roach, uh, where, where he was a response to Sharpeville Massacre in South Africa. You know, he, he dealt with the local politics, national and international. Um, one, of his, one of his cuts uh, featuring Abby Lincoln, who he was married to for eight years, well, what, what was called Drive the Man, you know which dealt with uh, working in the slave field and the driving man whipping people, making them work, you know. So, uh, you know, he had a very, very strong political consciousness, you know, uh, civil rights driving man. Uh, and, uh, you know, one of the uh, foremost artists, you understand, that deal with political, uh, political activity, um, you know, and... Uh, you know, us who are into the politics, you know, we appreciate Brother Max Roach. There's a picture in, uh, you know, in, in the Southern Trump movement, we have a spot called Sister's Place, a jazz joint where we understand that jazz, you understand, is something that kept our people alive, you know, 
we have a, a, a photo of Max Roach, you know, uh, from the Freedom Suite cover, you know, where him and, and uh, several other activists were sitting uh, in, in, in doing a, a sit-in, you know, as protests uh, to being barred from uh, uh, establishments. You know, so during the 50s and the 60s, Max Roach was very, very active, you know, uh, in, in putting uh, political messages out there, you know, um, you know, uh, so we, we continue to wield that sword, you know, uh, to, we continue to have the message in that music, you know, and you know, the music ain't just some to, uh, you know, dance and sing with no consciousness whatsoever. That's what the corporations wanted for us, you know, uh, but uh, that is a, a poison type of activity, you know, uh, you know, and, and like Max Roach, we have to deal with the realities in the world, and that's what his music did, dealt with the reality, you know, and didn't uh, just go on, on some drunken binge and, and, and not realize what's going on around you, you know, it dealt with the real, you know, and uh, it's still hard hitting, you know what I'm saying, we're still listening to Max Roach, and appreciate it, and a, a commentator said, and Max Roach used his drumsticks like baseball bats to beat the brains out of racism, you know, and that's what he did. And, uh, uh, right, um, absolutely. And then there's a concept called ethnomusicology, right? Mm -hmm. So that is how music is influenced um, on a culture. And, uh, you know, Max Roach used his uh, influence on a culture to inspire culture, right? As a drummer, he can... Uh, perform a music that's going to make you feel sad, happy, uh, or inspire you to fight. And uh, Max knew his power and he used it accordingly. And it was because of him that others became inspirational towards uh, fighting uh, in, in the current situation that they were dealing with. We had a viewer by the name of Sister Sharon. She uh, tuned in. She said he did not come to be silent. And I just think that's very important, right? Uh, he, he was very aware of what was going on. And he didn't talk about just musicians uh, taking position. He led by example. And I think that that's very important because too many of us want to be comfortable with being consultants, telling people what they should do, how they should do it, instead of telling somebody, oh, I'll be there when you need me to be there. I'll do what you need to do. And I think that that says a lot about Max Rhodes because he gives us some music to inspire us to take action, right? It's not You're not just sitting there being relaxed. Now, what action are you going to be inspired to take? We tell people that, you know, write to a political prisoner, contact us at 347-679-3936 about getting involved in this work. There's enough work you can do. If you're a writer, write. If you're a painter, paint. If you're a poet, write poems. If you're a, a, a athlete, right, make uh, statements whenever you call, score a touchdown or you hit a good point, you know, make a gesture towards what needs to be done regarding uh, people of African descent being mistreated. I know there's a demonstration, I think, in uh, Union Square or Times Square, if I'm not mistaken, and it's around uh, political prisoners in Palestine, right? We have to have international solidarity around this idea about uh, political prisoners because people are told from, the, from very young to stand up for what's right. So what about if something happens to me for standing up, for standing up for what's right? Are you gonna forget me? Are you going to um, support me? Are you going to uh, take care of my responsibility? What are you going to do? Because you have to do something, right? Because no one wants to be forgotten. No one wants to be ignored. And uh, how do we make sure that that doesn't happen? Well, there has to be a campaign. There has to be a group of people advocating for the individual who's currently incarcerated. Letting the individual who's currently incarcerated know that uh, we're out here for you. We are your voice. We are letting people know that you are here, you have a representation, and that representation should be respected and should be heard. And, uh, you know, when Max Roach uh, and gets, gets himself involved in uh, political affairs, he's uh, letting others know that this is what you need to be doing. So it says a lot about him. And uh, doing the research on, uh, you know, social consciousness and, and the role of musicians, you start to understand and appreciate different music more. You ask yourself, how did this musician come to make this particular song? What were they reading? What were they around? Who influenced them? 
Obviously, for Max Roach to be uh, involved in political affairs, he must have read uh, some strong, powerful books, some books that told him that he uh, had to do something with his consciousness because he wasn't conscious for the sake of being conscious to uh, articulate ideas and articulate the problem. He was solution based. His instrument of choice, the drum, was his way of providing a solution. Uh, he knew that everybody had a role to play. Everybody had something to contribute. So I know when I listen to Max Roach, uh, it allows me to give, gather my thoughts. It allows me to accept my role. It allows me to do things a bit more rhythmically, whether it's preparing for this podcast or it's uh, um, participating in a demonstration on the streets or even at a meeting, right? So now I can get my thoughts and I can express my ideas a whole lot clearer because I was able to listen to some music by Max Roach that allowed me to internalize my thoughts, allow me to um, reduce, if not eliminate the distractions that I have because we've been bombarded in this world with a number of ideas, right? You know, they have clickbaits, they have uh, ideas that you start to engage in and you're not even aware uh, of that, about the length of time that you spent actually engaging. So I think the power of music made by Max Roach and other musicians is that it allows you to clear your head. It allows that you to gather yourself and uh, make some serious decisions about what needed to be done. So, brother, when you listen to Max Roach, what comes to your mind? What comes to my mind is that uh, the drum is an instrument of war. And uh, Booba Nika Sonny Carson used to say the drums of war have sounded, you know. And uh, in Africa, uh, that was uh, that, that's how the drum was used, you know, a, a war drum to uh, you know to put the fight in the people, you know, um, you know to use the drum the the the, 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 the drumsticks, you know, as, as weapons, you understand, to inspire the people to fight, you know, and uh, indeed we have a a significant fight going on today, you know. Um, Frank met, uh, mentioned Palestine, you know, um, and, and Palestine is proof of the evil nature of this system. America and Israel, America sending weapons to Israel, knowing that these weapons are used to murder babies, to murder children, to murder innocent people. Uh, thousands and thousands of civilians murdered uh, by weapons uh, sent by the United States where we live, you know, the folks that are so-called governing over us, you know, are sending weapons to, to, and knowingly murdering innocent civilians and then um, after, Pal after Palestine is, is bombed and Palestine responds by, 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 by sending uh, bombs, you know, to, to Israel, uh, Palestine then get sanctioned, you know, and uh, Israel doesn't get sanctioned. So that shows you the upside down justice these people are talking about when they use the word justice. So, you know, when we listen to these folks talk, we got to understand that they still, that they're speaking with four tongues, you know, that they're liars, you know, and that, uh, you know, uh, the, the real reality, you know, can only come from us analyzing our own situation, you know, and being completely honest about what's happening in the world and uh, in the spirit of Max Roach, you understand, uh, in, in his spirit of love of Africa, of love of our people, and um, being very, very, uh, having the fight in us, you know, to deal and to do what we have to do, you know, this keeps us in the correct state of mind you know, to deal with what's real, you understand, in the air right now, you know, and uh, this is the message, you know, that's very, very important, you know, for our people in this day in 2024. Absolutely, brother. You know, we have to be very clear about uh, the power of jazz music, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, it wasn't a name that we put on the music, but we use it to uh, let people know the category or the style of music that we're talking about. So I think that, you know, just 
the fact that we have this particular weapon and we have a person like uh, Max Roach, uh, we have to really uh, become more empowered, uh, become more focused and determined to not give up. Because that's one of the things that uh, jazz music, in particular uh, Max Roach's music does for me. It uh, gives me stamina to keep going, right? Uh, enough times we get winded, enough times we get tired, and uh, we have to rest, right? But now when you hear this music, uh, you get inspired to continue to fight because there's a long, rich history of that drum, right? Sharon uh, Two and Then, she made a comment. She said that uh, there's, there's no other uh, drummer like uh, Max Roach. And uh, Freddie Fox, I mean, uh, with Fab Five Freddie is his uh, godson. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so Fab Five Freddie contributed to the, to the development of hip hop. So now uh, Max Roach has his hand and uh, contributing to another form of music of people of African descent. So we have to link those together. We can't forget about who did what for who and uh, who then carried on a particular idea because that is the, the way that a culture works, right? It goes from one generation to the next. So when we listen to hip hop and we uh, let us be, uh, let us not forget that Max Roach had uh, influence on hip hop. So we have to respect uh, what came before what we appreciate now and uh listening to max roach uh you know let us uh ask ourselves you know what tasks are we up to how far are we willing to go and uh, what is our responsibility to what's going on socially right have you participated in a demonstration uh regarding the situation uh, uh with the palestinians you know are you going to be on the sideline um accepting the acts that is that's going on uh, to the Palestinians as something normal, as something that you can't do anything about it, about, or are you going to stand up and fight, uh, take a position that's definitive because you don't want to be on the wrong side of history. You don't want to uh, witness what's happening, right? Because we live on in an in a age where everybody has a platform. Everybody has the ability to convey an idea, to let somebody know that there's something happening. Uh, are you going to be on the side of those who are complacent with what's happening and not do anything about it. That's why it's very important for us to have platforms such as this. That's why we ask you to please like, please share with at least 10 people. If you have not subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, please do so. Encourage others to uh, do so because as we uh, have a bigger and broader audience, then um, we'll, uh, you know, we'll be able to um, present these ideas to others and those others can present these these ideas to others as well uh we ask that you spend some time and write to a political prisoner uh, we provide to it information for those of you who are not able to get that information or this particular episode i'd like to give you my number 347-679-3936 please share that with others uh, let those others know that uh, there's a force that's out here doing the work that's letting people know that we must take a stand to free U.S. health political prisoners, that they don't have to die in prison and they don't, they won't die in prison and we do more work. So let's accept the responsibility just as um, our brother Max Roach accepted when he uh, decided that he was going to commit himself to uh, contributing to the advancement of his people by participating in demonstrations, by being part of some organized action to raise awareness about what was happening. Because when we listen to his music, uh, we listening to somebody who's saying to us, right? It's a personal letter, a personal conversation with you as you listen to that uh, music, why it's just you and uh, the, the, the person who put that music together and he's talking to you. He's letting you know that, you know, they are fully aware, they're compassionate about what you're going through and uh, they have solidarity with you. Their solidarity is their music to inspire you to keep fighting. Right? Regardless of where you are, you could be home writing a letter uh, to a political president or writing an article on uh, matters of injustice and you have that music that is allowing you to flow, allowing those ideas to come out a little bit more uh, easy than they normally would because you have a brother like uh, Max Roach providing that music for you. Uh, you might be doing your workout to get yourself ready to participate in a demonstration. Now you turn on some Max Roach and that's inspiring you to fight uh, strong and harder. You might be incarcerated because you took up uh, a position, I took a definitive position uh, for social justice 
And uh, because of that, you are currently in your situation, a situation that restricts uh, your um, ability to move around uh, tremendously. Uh, but now you listen to Max Roach and uh, you feel inspired. You know that you're not where you at for no reason. You're there because you refuse to accept something that is not correct as being correct. And you decided that you're going to stand up and fight back. Uh, and you have to thank Max Roach for providing you with that music. That, uh, that music that gave you uh, the inspiration to continue to fight, not to get uh, depressed and wallop in your sorrows, but to say, this is what's going on right now, and this is not how I'm going to accept it. I'm not going to accept it as defeat. I'm going to accept it as part of the process. Brother Abdul Haq Islam, you were incarcerated. While you were incarcerated, did you listen to any uh, Max Roach? Oh, yeah, I listen to Max. I used to uh, listen to uh, several jazz artists, you know. Um, you know, that was one of the one of the things, you know, that, uh, you know, made the time a little bit easier. You know, so I like to say, you know, uh, in, in, in conclusion, uh, that just like everything else, um, you know, in our realm, you know, that we must uh, take ownership. Like we take ownership of our education, we take ownership of our culture, you know, we take ownership of, um, you know, of our music, you know, and uh, this means that we do not allow the agents of uh, imperialism and genocide to de determine, you know, what, what meaning will come from that which uh, vibes in our community, you know, uh, and so, um, in the spirit of Max Roach, you know, we uh, take control and ownership of the messages that come in our music that creates actions, you know, so that we are acting in our own interests, you know, as opposed to acting in the interest of someone who, who couldn't care less about us, someone who right now is... Um, Selling weapons, you understand? Uh, you know, committing genocide against innocent people right now. That you know, um, that is the the context that we are in. You know, so as in everything else, as we read, as we write, you know, uh, as we listen to our music, as we make music, it must be us uh, that which uh, benefits us, which does not work against us does not work to make somebody else rich does not work to, to put us to sleep but to wake us up and put the fight in us you understand so that fight grows in us you understand like like a, a tremendous fire in our spirit you know to keep us moving on you know and we hear that the drum sticks hidden hidden you understand uh uh the, the, we hear the matches drum sticks hidden you know pushing us forward you know on on to victory you know and indeed we gonna win absolutely we gonna win but you know the only way we don't win is to continue to fight right we fight for our lifetime and uh those who come after fight for their lifetime right we all have a generational responsibility as it relates to the social conditions of a people of people who have been around for a very long time of people who have been oppressed for a very long time of people who have been resilient for a very long time. But how do we gain that resilience, right? Is it just one of us doing something or a few of us doing something or all of us who chose to be a participant in uh, the fight for our liberation, doing what we can, wherever we can? I think that it's us doing whatever we can, wherever we can, that contributes to the collective uh, responsibility or the co collective uh, a turnout, right? Because that was determines what's going to happen. Uh, you know, it is the quantity and the qualitative uh, participation that is necessary for us to move advance, to advance as a people. And I think that, you know, when we start thinking about uh, a music in particular, because we're dealing with Jazz Appreciation Month, we're looking at a powerful instrument, right? Culture is a weapon. That's what we always say at the December 12th movement, at the jazz shows and any other event that we have, any program that we have, when we're discussing about uh, culture and culture is a weapon, right? Uh, jazz is a part of that culture. Jazz is expression of our experiences. Uh, it's the manifestation of our experiences. 
So when we listen to jazz, we are listening to uh, a, a musician tell out of our experiences. Like when uh, John Coltrane made Alabama and uh, Match Rose, what was the key, what was the vote, uh, one of the most powerful um, songs that Match Rose had? It was Dealing with Freedom. Uh, Driver Man, Freedom Sweets. Oh. Freedom Sweets was the album, yeah. Oh, okay. So, and then you just said that um, that particular album, they was at a sit-in, mm -hmm. right? So that alone, just that, that album cover, it. yeah, that, that album cover just lets you know where his mind was, uh, what was his priorities, right? Because they were being uh, deterred by the labels to make different type of music, to stray away from those uh, political responsibility. But you know, Max understood what was happening at the time, and he understood what his responsibility as a musician uh, is and was. And uh, and to this day, you know, it's documented on what he did. Right, his music you could listen to it on a number of streaming platforms, and you can uh, re reinsert yourself into those particular time periods of what's going on, and you can understand why it was made and who it was directed to. And now you can take that now and uh, gain further inspiration. Um, you know, you can give those songs that he made regarding um, opposition as it relates to uh, being socially aware and contributing to social change. Uh, you put that music right, put that music right on right now, and you find inspiration to fight. And I, I think that those who are choosing to stand up and fight should do that. So, you know, right now we're coming to the end of this particular episode. You know, thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and uh, do what you have to do. Make time to write to a political prisoner. And I take some personal criticism because I have yet to write my next letter to a political prisoner. But uh, I haven't forgot. I've just been busy. But, you know, being that I'm going to tell you to do something, I'm going to do it myself. Uh, I'm just waiting on this letter from Joy Powell so I can make this banner and put it up in Queensbridge, the uh, most populated uh, New York City housing. Okay, in parting, I'd like to say, uh, you know, the summer is coming, you know, so y'all get on out there to the drummer circles, you know, in your cities, 63rd Beach in Chicago, there's their Prospect Park in, in, in New York, you know, uh, they got one in Philadelphia, 116th Street in Cleveland. Get on out there yesterday and, and get the, get that Africa in you. All right, get on out there to come circle this summer in the park, right on, and uh, you know, get that spirit. What's the call? Freedom all. What's the call? Freedom all. What's the call?